Now then, guys, welcome to Strides Gaming. I'm Luke, and this is my road to glory on Football Manager 2020 with Harrogate. This is the end of Season 7. It's been a ride. It, it really has. We've done better than we did last season as well. We've got one more game to go. I thought I'd show you the last game of the season, and then we'll just go through the end of the season to see how much money we get, all that sort of stuff, and I'll just continue on and just kind of go through and kind of highlight some places where we need to... Improve the squad, all that sort of stuff. So before I get into that, I just want to say thank you for the support for the channel so far. 172 now subscribers, which is awesome, so thank you very much. I'd also like to say, if you're here for the first time, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, all that sort of stuff. That's just helped me build this channel. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm getting so close, I really am. So it would be awesome if you were there to help me out. So thank you very much for that. Let's roll the intro, and then let's get into the game. So the, here we are then, we're going to go through some crazy results we've had since the last time you saw us. And last time out, I'm trying to figure out when it was. I think it was, I'm pretty sure, was it Huddersfield and Blackburn? I can't quite remember, or was it Millwall and Stoke? Or was it even QPR and West, uh, West Brom? I can't remember when it was. It, it's literally just, just thrown me off, it really has. But we've had a bit of a rough end to the season, to be honest with you. We were, it might have been Huddersfield and Blackburn, and then I thought I'd just play the last last game. But yeah, we, we did all right. At this point here, we were almost almost touching on playoffs if we won every game and other people lost. But yeah, it's been crazy. And if you've not got me on Twitter, go follow me on Twitter and you'll find out what happened in one of the games. So what happened was we played Derby... And it was a absolutely sour shower of beep shit, pretty much. We ended up getting... We'll, we'll click into this game because it was ridiculous. We lost 4-1. We got four red cards. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine yellow cards in that game. And four red cards. It was just ridiculous. Just everyone was getting sent off left, right and centre. And it was just, it was just crap. It was the worst performance of football I've ever seen. It, I even turned off. Just, 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 just everyone sit back, do not tackle hard, kind of thing. It just didn't work. I was just after. I literally just didn't understand it. 80th minute, 88th minute, 93rd minute, 94th minute. Men sent off, and I was like, "What is going on? I just don't understand what happened." And then we followed that up by another 4-1 loss against Sunderland, and we had another red card in that game. And it, this time out, it was uh, Michard who was in. Obviously, it had to play a de just a weird team. It really was. The back four was just just made up, to be honest with you. We had, we had one guy in, youngster, by the way, came for our youth. And he's a three-star already. He's going to be pretty much starting at left-back, I think, because he's, he's all right. He's wanted by clubs already. Uh, three-star ability, a load of potential. He's going to be our kind of future left-back instead of Shildon, I think. Uh, he came through the youth. That is about the only decent guy we got in the youth. Uh, see, that was a 4-1 loss there. And then we followed that up by a 3-1 loss against Aston Villa. At this time, we managed to not get a man sent off. We scored in the 72nd minute. Um, and it was just a bit of a... just a, Again, just a poor game. So hopefully, we're going to have a good game today. But it's not. It's against Luton. We are third. They, they are third. And yeah, it's just going to be a tough one. The league table, though, I am pleased to announce that we beat what we did last season. We're on 62 points. We're one point ahead of where we were last season. And we finished 14th place because we can't actually finish any lower. Leighton Stewart, if he has a very good game today and scores seven goals, he'll be top goal scorer. But he, he's in there. He's, yeah, 19 goals for the season. Not too bad. We need to get him back on loan again. So we'll just jump into this last game of the season. We'll, um, we will uh, <coughs> see how we get on. So this is how we're going to be lining up. And I'm thinking of... Hang on. Let me just sort this out a little bit. I'm going to rotate the team a lot. Where's that kid I played at right back? Thinking, did he actually come through or did I sign him? No, I signed him on a free, didn't I, from Arsenal. I've not played him. So he's coming in at left back there. In fact, I'm just going to do a quick pick first. And that's what it does. It's brings Bird as left back. That's not happening. You can be left back instead. Sheldon didn't even get on the pitch. That's how rubbish he's been recently. Um... Jean-Luc, I've been playing him. He's shipped in a lot of goals, so he's not going to play for this end of this game, unfortunately. I'm trying to think anyone else that I want to start. Uh, Raphael is going to go on the bench. 
I know he's not quite fit, so I think maybe Lopez on the bench instead. We'll do that. Um, Tyree Shade, Wadham, Endhall. I'm going to start Endhall and Williams. Oh, McDonald and Endhall do not get on very well, but I'm going to I'm going to do that anyway. McDonald and Endhall, Bree on the right, Hay Moles in the center, Pilkington, Mario, Anthony. I'm going to start Tyree Shade instead of. Anthony, I'm just rotating the squad a little bit. And then I'm sure there was another youngster that we had that could play in the centre. If we have a look at the youth candidate list, are they here? I got rid of most of them. I actually signed. Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh, is this kid here, was it? I don't actually know. Anyway, we're just going to just jump straight into this game and then we're going to see what happens at the end of this uh End of the season, see how much money we we're gonna get given. I've, I don't hold up much hope in this last game of the season. We're gonna end on a bit of a bit of a low point, but we managed to survive. I think next season is just to finish mid table. I think that's where we where we've got a set of sights on. Just just finishing mid table would be would be good. We'll hand over assistant here. We'll just keep yeah. We've got just go out there and have a fun game. We're not gonna we're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna really get anywhere. It's just a bit of a a one off game. But I thought I'd show you. I was I was tempted just to not show you it and just do a big in depth review but I was also thinking of maybe just sacking all my coaches to try and then just bring in some better ones um it's going to be difficult but I might I might do it I don't know yet Stuart goes close but yeah I was generally thinking the backroom staff just need completely overhauling I think we've got a bit too far up for them they're not quite good enough I had a look at them they're all like one star staff all that sort of stuff so I need to start thinking about kind of improving the coaching team so it might be I thought it was going to be another red card early on then. Within 12 minutes, I would have been annoyed there. Stewart wins the ball up. Stewart beats his man. Stewart with the shot. He's trying to get these six, six, seven goals. So, yeah, the coaching team is definitely what I need to change. And there we go. Leighton Stewart gets his 21st goal of the season. We go 1-0. What is This team is just crazy. That's what I don't get. On its day, we can beat anyone, which is stupid. On football, In football, yeah, on, it, on their day, anyone can beat them. But we can just step it up and score goals you know what I mean we, we we do well and it's it's good and by the way if we win this game we're up into 11th place which is just mid-table which is just crazy to how you think how we struggled last season well I say struggled we struggled right at the end of the season we didn't get into a relegation battle we we're close there was a really weird noise then and my window light sounded like something flew into my window or something but there was nothing there it's really strange this house is definitely haunted it's really weird um, right, anyway, Luton on the attack. We managed to win the ball. Hayes, Pilkington. But as I was saying, this team is just... I think definitely if we get a couple of good signings in, comfortably finish mid-table, Mario, that's a good goal. We need to get him back as well next season on loan. Hopefully we can. And I'm just thinking... Goal aim for next season. I think mid-table top half. I think that's where I want us to be. Um, I don't think we're going to do playoffs yet. The season afterwards, I think building towards the playoffs. You never know. We could do. It. We're not too far off. We're on sixty-five points. We're eleven points off as things stand to getting into the playoffs. So we didn't. Well, we've lost twenty-one games. We've only drawn five. You change some of them losses into like draws. We're doing all right. We're, we're moving up the board. If you know what I mean. There's definitely only five draws in the season, which is just. It's just a team that just didn't want to finish even. We're either going balls at it to try and get the win or we're just getting hammered because we're just going attacking. We don't set up at all to get the draws. And it was a good first half and good attacking. I'm pleased with that. Let's just take off this kid here because he's just a bit bit tired. He's on a yellow card and I just don't trust anyone on a yellow card at the minute. But we're doing well. Was it Mario Stewart on the score sheet? 2-0 against Luton who are in third place in the league. Obviously, again, they're still in the playoffs. They've... They're not going to fall out of the playoffs. They're going to finish third anyway, regardless. So it's it's just one of these nothing games where nothing's really in it. But I thought I'd just show you it. Endhall, by the way, he's had an all right game. Mario again picks the ball up. He's having a fantastic game. Hopefully we can we can have a sign in maybe. Stewart's in. Again, again, like just making some of these loans permanent would be nice. Pilkington, Mario and Stewart to bring them in would be awesome. I think they'll be worth a lot of money though. And we don't think we're going to get the transfer budget to sign to sign them, to be honest with you. Maybe just one, but then it might just blow the full transfer budget. So we'll just try and see if we can get them back on loan again and 
hopefully the, the the teams will let us have it. I think I can't remember what team Stewart's on loan from. Uh, right, he picks the ball up here. I think I don't know if it's Middlesbrough or someone like that. I've got him on loan. They're in the they're in the Premier Premier League now. They got promoted last season, so hopefully um, they've not been relegated and they want him back. 2-1, though. Good free kick from them. They're getting back into the game. Again, as I'm saying, we don't probably draw. We're probably going to draw this one. McGee probably should have done a bit better with that. Um, Subwise, well, what am I going to do? Hayes, probably for... Jack Wadham has been playing anywhere and everywhere at the minute. He's been playing his centre-back. He's been playing in midfield. He's, I think, actually, he's going to be a decent signing for us. I'm going to have to start playing him all over. But he's he's, he's definitely got the ability to be a ball-winning midfielder if we just get his marking up and play, playing in that right position. He's got the mentality for it. He's got the, the kind of skill to be a central midfielder and he can drop back in defence as well, which is nice to see. So that's probably not a bad thing. Bree's probably going to be the next guy I'm going to take off just conditioning-wise. Wadham to Moles. Again, it's, not, it's nice that I've only just figured out that we could probably get Wadham into the team like that. Disallowed goal. Thank, thanks for that. Whew, offside, it was just on the counter. Again, it was 2v2. Because we were attacking him, we're so far up the pitch. I might just drop it down to balance now. You know, it's getting towards the end of the game. We are just been dominated on the possession, the, the shots. It's just been good. Ball over the top to Pilkington. Pilkington picks the ball up, gets tackled, but Bree picks the ball up. Pilkington's in. Pilkington disallowed goal for tripping another player. But he had the ball. I don't get it. I'm thinking about taking... Pilkington off. I'm going to bring on Anthony because he's had a good season for us. I'm going to swap these two around. Bring on Anthony. I think he's definitely he's definitely had the the better season for us than he has done the season before. So he, he's done well there. But hopefully we can hold on to get the win. There's something going on in this house. It's doing my head in. There's noises coming from all over. Now my fridge is making noises. I swear I'm being haunted. It's crazy. We win 2-1 though, which is awesome. We end the season on a win. A very good win. That's awesome. That really is. So, my goal is now, we're going to go forward, see if we get the budgets. We'll have a look at the awards. I'll keep going forward until we get to the point of where everyone has been promoted, all that sort of stuff. We'll then look at the team, look, see what we've got to do, all that, all that sort of jazz. So, we've got the budget. They've been set. They're here. I've not looked at them yet. We're going to click on it. Hopefully, we've got some transfer budget to play with. Oof. We have got... This is just not enough money, is it, really? 125k worth of transfer budget. And 299k worth of wage. And what I was looking at, I thought this kid got listed here. From Bolton. And Commander thought, actually, looks looks pretty decent, you know. He's listed. How much is he listed for? 400,000. Can't buy him, then. Cannot buy him. So what's that leave us? Finances, by the way. We end this season with 1.5 million in the bank. We get... In fact, no, we get... Sorry. Yeah, it's wrong. We get 300,000 to spend. The wage budget is 123,000. So we get... Yeah, it's... Again, it's just going to be difficult. Unless we sell anyone. I don't think I'm going to be buying any players. Again, if I don't have to, I, I won't buy any players. If we have a look at the value... We've actually got a couple of players here worth money, but they're obviously not at the club. Hayes is worth 2.6 million. Bird is worth 2.1 million. Anthony, 2.1. So we've got some players here that are worth a bit of money. Will we get this kid back in and loan again from Arsenal? We might do. I didn't really capitalise on him. Didn't really play him much, to be honest with you. He got himself sent off. He only played five games. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Is he good enough? Are we playing? Are we planning on playing with the defensive midfielder rolling? Next season, it was probably worked a little bit better with the attacking thing. I wasn't going to go through the team now, but I'm going to do it now as it, as it is anyway. So if we have a look, this is how we play. I'm going to go all player, all all positions, then we can have a look to see what's what's what and who we've got, all that sort of stuff. So we'll start at the back, and I think definitely goalkeeper we need to improve. Uh, Luke McGee is obviously he's 30 years of age now. He's still decent. He's a good. Is he a good championship goalkeeper? He's League Two side to be honest with you. He's, we do need a better goalkeeper. We've got the backup for them. We've got Jean-Luc, who we've bought in 23 years of age. He had a bit of an injury that kind of kept him out of the squad all season. I was going to be playing him, but he's played nine games and conceded 21 goals. It's, again, not very good for him at all. 
But bear in mind, one of them goals is where we got four people sent off. We then go up a little bit. We go towards the kind of the right back situation. I'm happy with Bree. As long as he stays at the club, I think was he's 28. He's on 5k. I hopefully, no one like teams are wanting him. Birmingham are wanting him. Bristol are wanting him. So if they want to come in, they're gonna to have to give me a couple of million pounds for him. If I'm gonna try and sell some of these players again, if if I do get a couple of million pound bid in, it'd be stupid not to like turn it down just so I can get the money in. I just then will have to find try and find a replacement maybe on a free or whatever. But again, did we bring him on a free? We bought him in on a free from QPR, so it'd be again making money off him. So it's not gonna be horrendous. But we haven't really got a backup for him. We've got Max Bird, who's more of a defensive midfielder but he can play left and right back. So we definitely need another midfielder on the right. Centre-backs, we're pretty much sorted. Matt Donald, who I bought him originally as a defensive midfielder, has played majority of the season at centre-back and played really, really well for us. 37 appearances, three goals, five assists, an overall rating of seven. He's been good. He really has been good for us. And then we're obviously we've bought in... Again, Derek Williams, he's 33. He's getting a bit old now. He is wanted by... Who's wanting him? Toronto. Maybe he might be one to look at if they come in for a bid for him and let him go because of his age. Um, well, he's good. And then go back again, centre-backs. We're, we've got some, obviously, decent youngsters coming through. We've got Wadham. We've, I've just talked upon him. Again, his potential's there. Oslo is on loan, booking him. Joe Endhall, 20 years of age now. Got the stats. He didn't really play as much this season as he played the season before. Only 27 games this season, uh, considering he played 38 the season before. No goals, no assists. It's just a bit of a poor, poor one from him. But we should we should probably see more of him from next season, maybe depending on who we get rid of. Left back wise, we, again, we definitely need to sort out the left back. But I think we've got one. This Richie Ho uh, Hogerton we bought in this season, and he was just developing in the under 23s, and he's actually come come quite good. And definitely, I think he's. First team potential. He's currently operating in the Skybet League 2, but I think if we keep playing him, he should get there. He's got the ability to be a, a championship uh, fullback, so we'll probably do that. And then Shildon, obviously, he's had, had an alright season, 28 years of age. He's not going to really improve. 30 games for us, 5 assists. Just average, on just just average, really. Um, and then defensive midfield. We've got McDonald Bird we've looked at. Pearson, we had him on loan. He's, again... He's a good player, don't get me wrong, but we haven't really used him. Four games he's played this season is not really what we needed. We haven't used him. I don't think we'll be getting him back. Even though he's good, I just don't think we'll be playing this kind of kind of role this season. I think next season we're going to opt for playing the attacking midfielder role. Where, where the hell is Mario in that attacking midfielder role? He should be there, right? Hmm, that's weird. Uh, midfield, central midfield, we don't need to start out. We've got we've got Moles, we've got Hayes, we've got Bird, we've got people to play in the midfield. We've we've seen them all season long. They're, they're really good. Moles is how old is Moles now? Twenty seven. He has been at this club since the Vanuatu National. From the beginning, bear in mind, he has been at the club. We had him on loan, then we got him on a free, and he's just he's been with us from the start, and it is really good to see him build up and become a very good player. We've still... He's near enough at his potential now. He's definitely a good Skybet player. Hayes as well that we've brought in 27 years of age. We brought him in a couple of seasons ago. Again, very good. So we've got the two central midfielders down and I just, I'm just i really happy that Moles has come through all of it. I want us to get to the Premier League and then he can at least then say we've got someone that's stapled down in midfield that's played in all the positions and I just think it's good to see. Attacking on the right-hand side... We've got Pilkington, Anthony, uh, Malik. Connor Pilkington, 22 years of age. He's worth £3 million. He's on loan from Sheffield United. How are they getting on in the Premier League is the question. They're 20. If they're going to get relegated, they are pretty much relegated. So whether they let us have him back on loan again, because they're probably going to want to use him. What's his contract situation like? Contract info. He's got another year left on his contract. So it's... Hopefully we can bring him back in again. He's been at our club for a while. He just feels like one of our players. He's been on loan for us for three season now, Conor Pilkington is. And I just feel I feel saddened if he's going to go and then just go back to Sheffield United. And we've developed this player. He played no football. We bought him in and then he's just been, just been sensational for us. 
On the left-hand side, Anthony has just been 24 years of age. He's coming to light this season. 44 games, 12 goals, the most amount of goals he's done. A little bit harsh on his rating, 6.88. I feel like he's definitely better than that. But, I don't know. I feel like he has had a lot better season for us this season. Hopefully he can build on that and have a good one for us after that. And then we've got, obviously, Mark Brown we had on loan. Again, he's got he's a good player. We've got he's got potential. It's whether we look at bringing him back on loan, is his contract due, his contract's actually due, so we can maybe look to maybe signing him permanently. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, Malik Willem, uh, Malik Wilkes that we signed on a loan again this season from Forest played twenty games. To be honest, wasn't fantastic for us. But again, it's someone else. His contract expires. I might look to signing him. I know he didn't have. A great season with him, but he's got the potential. He could do all right for us. And um, yeah, it's, it's just one of them ones. I don't understand in attacking midfield. I don't understand where Mario is. I don't know why he's not here. But we've got Shade that can obviously play there. But we've got Mario. We do need, if we're going to play in the attacking midfield, well, we definitely need more in of players there. Tackle wise, we've got Leighton Stewart, who you know who Leighton Stewart is. He's been fantastic for us. He's been on loan for us for three seasons. For In three seasons, he has scored. 55 goals in three seasons. 56, oh no, 55 goals. He scored one goal for Liverpool back in whenever it was. So, yeah, he's been a, a very good player. Again, when's his contract due? Oh, it's the end of this season. We might be able to get him. In fact, Southampton. I thought he was on loan at, from Liverpool. Southampton signed him on a free and gave, loaned him back. Okay, cool. So we might actually be able to sign him on a free, which would be good. Well, in fact, it would be better than good. It would be awesome. Leighton Stewart we brought in. Didn't really have that good of a season. 20 games, only three goals. Not really the good kind of form he had when he was with us against the Vanuatu National or League Two. Helped us get promoted from League Two. So, again, but he's all right. He's a good player. So that's pretty much the team as it is. That's where we need to strengthen. The staff-wise is attacking-wise, we're all right. But I just feel like... We could do better there. It's definitely the coaching staff. I'm thinking of getting rid of most of the coaching staff, bringing in some better coaches. Again, just... I'm oh, not coaching, scouting, sorry. The medical team is just below average. We need to probably sort that out as well. So staff-wise, definitely need sorting out. I just don't know how I'm, whether I'm going to let the director of football just sort it or I need to sort it. It's going to take a long time to do that. So that's pretty much that. Annoyingly, the episode has gone on quite a while. I might just kick forward to look at the awards and we just that'll be the end of it because it just it is just kicking on a little bit now. I don't want it to be a, a stupidly long episode. So we'll go forward a couple of days, we'll get the awards through and just kind of look at the leagues and see what's done what and then see how how and where we go from there. And we'll we'll come back and look at the beginning of the season, we'll come back and look at how all the leagues finished like we did at the beginning of this season. So I'm just going to look at the team and um we We've missed out, and we somehow we could have signed Mario, but Mario has already accepted a contract offer, so I don't understand who he's accepted it with. It it's kind of really bugged me because now we're going to be out of probably one of the best players we've had at the club. Um, transfer arranged is going to yeah these guys. He's off to Portugal. Hopefully, we can bring him back on loan. That'd be. That'll be decent. Hopefully we can. Um, who else was out of out of contract? I'm just trying to make offers with like no money attached and just seeing if they'll just accept it so I can go and have them on freeze. But yeah, we're just going to keep going forward, get to the awards and just kind of go from there. Transfer news. Pilkington, we've got him back on loan again the next season. I just requested to have him back on loan again and they said, yeah, we can do it. So hopefully that is awesome. We've also got homegrown... Players, hopefully trained at club. This is going to be massive for us because we need players. A senior player trained at the club. Yes. Does that mean on this 17th of the 6th, 2026, Raphael is going to be trained at the club, which is awesome after three seasons. That is going to be big for us and we don't have to really worry about the bench. Also, hit this kid here on the bench. We might be. We might have a young goalkeeper sat on the bench. Trained at club, which is decent. And there's a couple of others coming through. Justin Herbert, I recognise that name. Is he any good? No, he's not that great. But yeah, which is nice to see that hopefully Raphael can come through. 
and be trained as club so we don't have to then have someone else to sit on the bench who's nowhere near good enough. So here we are then. We're getting to the awards and this is going to be the end of the episode. We're just going to go through a couple of few, few things here. So here we are. The best, overall best 11 of the squad. And I said the other day, I couldn't remember quite some of the other players we've got around. So we're going to have a look. McGee in goal is the best goalkeeper. We're chopping Francis and McDonald. That's fine. Lapperty and Shilden is the, the wing backs. And we haven't played this formation in a while. I don't know whether it's just a bit glitched because we played this for quite a bit and it's just sticking to this kind of three at the back um, formation. As well, it'd be nice to get back to this. I just don't think we can. Uh, Little and Moles in the midfield too. Shade, Pilkington and Stewart are the uh, two strikers apparently. On the bench are going to be... Yeah, Bobby Chopping and then Substitutes. I don't know who this kid is. Jamie Stevens. No idea. Jamie Stevens, Odomeo, Hayes, Anthony Lopez, and Cater. Good old Cater, where are you? You're still doing all right wherever you are. I thought I had big hopes for Cater. And Ashley Seal, who's retired at 25. How old was he? He literally just disappeared. Retired as... Yeah, he retired at 25 for some reason. But anyway, that's that. Where are they now? Yeah, that is what it is. Season awards. So we're going to have a look. So the best fans player of the season is... Leighton Sheldon. Uh, Stewart even, sorry, not Sheldon. Leighton Stewart. And he might as well be because he's just scored loads of goals for us. Anthony, goal of the season. Let's have a look at his goal of the season. He did score some, uh, score? Score some good ones for us. We'll see how it is. I think this is the one way. Didn't he just beat everyone and just got a massive dribble? And I did say at the time, it's probably going to be the goal of the season. Just beats a couple of the players. It's a decent one, actually. He, he scored a couple like that. I'm pretty sure he scored one when he ran from one half to the other half and scored. Uh, young uh, sign of the season, Lopez, free on from Watford. Young player of the season, Leighton Stewart. Stats-wise, 21 goals, Leighton Stewart for the league. The highest average rate is Hayes. Most assists, Connor Pilkington. Pat most pass completion is... Mark Bird, most player of the matches award, Hayes, most yellow cards, Shielden and Bree on 12 yellow cards each for the season, which is ridiculous. And then two red cards for Shielden and Endhall. What else have we got? We've got the club vision coming up as well, so we'll have a quick look at that now. Club vision, what do they expect us to do? Again, they want us to fight bravely against relegation. Fight bravely against relegation. I'm going to negotiate this. Because I think I should be able to get. No, okay, I can't. I can't. Okay, let's confirm that. So they want us to fight bravely against relegation. We will take that all day long. Um, discuss plans for next season. Um, we will do well to avoid. We've done good enough not to be relegation back of the season. It's going to be likely the same thing. You're not go. You're not going to get very far asking like that. What do you mean we're not? They don't think we're good enough to stay up when we've finished mid-table. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to really piss everyone off there. That is the worst thing ever. So they still think we're going to get relegated, which is ridiculous. It really is. So we're going to go train in... Uh, where are we going to train? I'm just thinking like money-wise. We're going to train in Yorkshire and Humberside. We'll do that instead of going somewhere abroad. Obviously, the episode, 37 minutes long. We're going to probably end it here, to be honest with you. I'm still looking at the squad. Still don't understand that Leighton Stewart's contract's up and we can't just sign him. Look, the 30 for the 6. We've got another month and it just won't give us that frigging option to sign him. And I bet someone else comes in and somehow manages to get him to sign. People have offered him contracts at the end of the month already. End of contract, end of contract, end of contract. And then transfers. Uh, I don't think any bids have been put in for him as of yet, so that's going to be really annoying, so we'll just see. Mario there, we need to try and figure out if we can get him back on loan at some point. He already accepted a contract. Uh, we can't make a, a loan signing for him or anything like that, so we've just got to keep him on our shortlist, and hopefully we can get him back next season because he actually had a decent season in the end. 39 games, 6 goals, 1 assist. Did all right for us, so hopefully we can get him back. Fingers crossed. So that is going to be that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a bit of a long one, a bit of all over the place. I'm going to have to do some some tidy editing on this to make it actually all look good and well and all that sort of stuff. So just let me know down in the comments, where do you think I'm going to do 
come next season. Do you think I'll beat what I did, 62 points? I want to make some signings, and I generally want to finish at least top half. That's my goal. We we did all right this season. We did all right the season before. I think we just push on, turn some of them lo losses to draws. We should be fine. I think top half, fighting towards the playoffs, that's what we want to do. We want to try and get into the Premier League as quick as we can now. We don't want to piss around in this league for too long. We don't want to, was it three seasons now? We don't want to have five, six seasons in the Championship. We need to push on and start now really thinking about how we're going to get into the Premier League. And this this season onwards is going to be it. There's, we've survived twice in the Championship. We can do it again for the third time and then hopefully we can just build up and get somewhere near the playoffs. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Wherever you are, I hope you're staying safe. Take it easy and I'll see you in a bit.